you don't need to spend a lot of money to get great quality headphones if you know where to look. And that's exactly what we're going to show you. In this video, we'll break down the top 5 budget headphones on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations they'll be used in. So whether you're looking for something for working out, casual listening, or anything in between, stay tuned, we'll have the perfect option for you. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First up, the Anchor Soundcore Life Q30, our pick for best overall budget over-ear headphones. Even though the Anchor Soundcore Life Q30 are technically budget headphones, their sound quality, build quality, and battery life make them anything but cheap feeling. While these wireless headphones look quite bulky at first glance, their appearance really doesn't reflect their actual weight. The mostly plastic construction, aside from the aluminum headband, keeps them feeling light, and the ear cups are padded with plush memory foam for extra comfort. These headphones provide five physical controls and a touch-sensitive area on the right ear cup that lets you manage the power, volume, play and pause, active noise cancellation, and voice assistant. The physical buttons are easily distinguishable by touch and provide tactile feedback. Out of the box, the Anchor Soundcore Life Q30 have a sound profile that's focused on bass. While some may find that perfectly acceptable, you could dramatically change the way headphones reproduce frequencies and make them extremely balanced using the custom EQ inside the app. It isn't perfectly neutral, but you can hardly beat it for the price. The overall passive noise isolation of these headphones isn't the best, but they do a decent job of blocking out a lot of the external noise around you. But activating the ANC makes a big difference. Choose from three ANC modes that are suitable for different situations. Transport mode focuses on lower frequencies, like engines, trains, and planes. Indoor mode focuses on mid-range frequencies like speech, while outdoor mode reduces street sounds and traffic. For connectivity, these headphones use Bluetooth 5.0 and wireless performance is excellent. You'll get fantastic range with no audio stutters and no delay when watching videos. And when it comes to the battery, you'll get up to 60 hours of listening time before you have to recharge. If you've been shopping around for the best overall budget over-ear headphones, the Anchor Soundcore Life Q30 are a great choice. They're comfortable, have excellent battery life, good ANC, and can produce some good sound if you take the time to tweak them. Next up, the Skullcandy Hesh 2 Wireless. The Skullcandy Hesh 2 Wireless sounds reasonably good for a budget headset, has decent battery life, is pretty comfortable to wear, and its integrated remote works well and is easy to operate by feel alone. These headphones are large and chunky, and like most Skullcandy headphones, you can get the Hesh 2 Wireless in a few different colors, but we checked out the black headset with metallic highlights. Like most budget headphones, the construction is mainly plastic, and the ear cups are padded with faux leather covered ear pads. The real highlight here is that the Hesh 2 Wireless have Bluetooth connectivity, but cost only as much as a pair of entry-level wired full-size headphones, which makes them a little irresistible. But unlike the Anchor Soundcore Life Q30, there's no ANC on board. The battery lasts for up to 15 hours of playback, and there's a built-in mic for calls, and buttons on one ear cup let you alter the volume. But if you ever find yourself low on battery, an included cable lets you use the Hesh 2 Wireless as a set of wired headphones. Sound performance sits in the middle of the road. It's neither extremely boomy nor harsh and sibilant, with the large drivers delivering inflated bass that has a very warm tone with overlying mids and highs that are softened, but perfectly acceptable at this price point. They're great for casual listening, or if you want a backup set of wireless headphones to use at the gym, the Hesh 2 wireless are definitely up to the task. If you're searching for a budget set of wireless headphones that deliver reasonable sound quality and battery life, the Skullcandy Hesh 2 wireless are a decent choice. While they won't get the nod from audiophiles, they're great for casual listening, calls, and can switch between wired and wireless modes. Next up, the Vunex Sound Element Duo, our pick for best budget in-ear headphones. If you're interested in a set of in-ear headphones rather than over-the-ear models we've looked at so far, the Vunex Sound Element Duo earbuds provide a secure, comfortable fit and good performance at a budget price point. The in-ear design of the Element Duo gives you a comfortable, secure fit that's perfect for any activity, be it walking, working out, or just relaxing. And if you are engaged in physical activity, these earbuds have an IPX7 rating, so they're protected from perspiration, rain, or even from being accidentally dropped in the pool. These earbuds have a 5-hour battery life, but the charging case that they come with acts as a power bank and holds an additional 20 charges, so combined, you'll have enough power for around 100 hours of playback. The case itself can be charged using a wireless charger or by connecting a USB-C cable and the built-in digital display on the charging case will let you know how much power you have to work with. 
If you ever find yourself in a situation where your phone is dead, you can use the charging case to charge it back up. Like the other headphones we've looked at, you probably won't see many audiophiles standing in line to buy these, but they actually perform pretty well and could do a great job of keeping you motivated during workouts and runs. There's a good foundation of bass that's complemented by clear mid and high frequencies to produce a balanced sound that's suitable for most musical genres. The design of the earbuds provides a good level of passive noise reduction, and the microphones are equipped with CVC noise cancellation to keep your voice sounding clear during phone calls. If you're looking for a set of budget in-ear headphones with good sound quality, fit, and battery life, the Vunex Sound Element Duo would be a great choice for you. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drops, so if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which products caught your eye in the comments below. Next up, the Sony WHCH710N, our pick for best budget noise cancelling headphones. Sony's WHCH710N wireless noise cancelling headphones are intended to be a more affordable version of Sony's WH1000XM3 and come in at half the price. Aesthetically, these headphones are relatively slim for a pair of over ear headphones, and the all matte black exterior looks pretty classy. Once you put them on, you'll be quite surprised at how light they really are. They weigh in at 223 grams or 7.87 ounces, so they don't put a lot of pressure on your head. On the right ear cup, you'll find some basic controls for volume and play and pause, plus a button that controls noise cancellation and ambient sound. On the left ear cup are a 3.5mm aux port, a power slash pairing button, and USB Type-C port that's used for charging. Most people will pair them using the power button when they first turn them on, but the WHCH710N also supports NFC, which is great for newer Android devices, and the headphones use Bluetooth 5.0 with support for SBC and AAC codecs. However, to keep costs down, support for high-res audio like LDAC or Aptix, which is available with the more expensive WH1000XM3, has been left out. The sound quality is energetic and easy to listen to. You're not overwhelmed with bass as you are with the default settings of the Anchor Soundcore Life Q30, and the accompanying mid-range and high-end comes through clearly. The ANC definitely makes a difference to your overall experience, but it's not at the same level as the WH1000XM3. When it comes to battery life, it seems no cuts were made, and you can easily get 35 hours of playback time on a full charge, with ANC enabled. If you're looking for a set of wireless headphones that deliver good sound quality and ANC, the Sony WHCH710N is a very good choice. They have great battery life and are built using many of the components of the higher end WH1000XM3, but at about half the cost. Last but not least, the Audio Technica ATH M20X, our pick for best budget wired headphones. If you don't have a lot to work with in your budget, the Audio Technica ATH M20X are one of the best budget studio style over the ear headphones available for under $50. At 190 grams, the M20Xs are very light, and this is achieved by using lightweight plastic throughout the build, with the only visible metal parts being the headband adjustment rails. The cable isn't detachable like the Skullcandy Hesh 2 wireless, which is pretty common in this price range. Despite the abundant use of plastic, the M20X looks and feels durable enough to easily stand up to daily wear and tear. The 3 meter cable isn't detachable, which is a pretty common trait in budget headphones. The ear cups can swivel up to 15 degrees in either direction to help you fine tune the fit, and an emphasis on comfort is seen in the ear cups and the headband, which are well padded and covered with Rexine that's quite soft and durable. Further adjustments are available with the headband adjustment sliders. They don't use click stops, but slide smoothly in and out using a friction mechanism that stays in place once you set it. Each ear cup houses a 40mm driver that has a frequency response of 15 to 20,000 Hz and the padding on the ear cups provides a good amount of passive isolation. When listening to music, the M20X have a very flat sound profile that doesn't color the sound much by default, which is a great benefit for DJs or those who mix music. This ensures that anything you add to the mix, like increasing low end, is a result of the mix and not just coloration from the headphones. If you're looking for a good set of budget wired headphones that produce balanced, uncolored sound, the Audio-Technica ATH M20X are a solid choice. The natural sound produced by these headphones is ideal for DJs and producers, and delivers a good bang for the buck. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. Links to all the products mentioned are in the description below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on the latest and greatest in tech. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.